hello friends let's understand convex lens in this video and uh, once we learn the three main rays as we uh, understood three main rays in concave mirror and convex mirror the same way we will understand main three rays in convex lens so first of all we will learn to draw the convex lens how to draw the convex lens and then we will solve the ray diagram right so first of all to draw the convex lens you need to uh, take the any measurement right any measurement which can be uh, which is uh, preferably which should be even number so that you can mention all the points uh, perfectly so i will draw the imaginary line at 7 right i just drew at 7 imaginary line or i i should say temporary line right and then i will draw the convex lens right so this is what i drew right and now i need to go at another side and again draw the again draw the arc like this right and i will keep my pen on six centimeters so that i can draw it perfectly now i will draw this thing right i will draw like this and then my convex lens is prepared now this temporary line should be this much only and even it is not required you need to erase it when you complete your ray diagram but till that you require this line now in this i need to show the c c2 right so i will explain how to name in this so first of all i will make dot over here zero right it will be my c right as it was in concave mirror and convex mirror then i will write at 4 it will be my f right so i will write f over here then at 7 it is o o is known as optical center right it is optical center which was pole in concave mirror center of reflecting surface is known as pole in concave mirror whereas in this uh, lens center is known as optical center then here it's here on 12 it's again f and it's again c because i drew from here also right i put my rounder sorry i put my rounder over here also right and i put my rounder here also to draw this arc now i will draw the principal uh, let me do, do, make dot over here i forgot to make dot over here on 4 and then now i will draw the principal axis as we used to draw in concave mirror and convex mirror so i will draw the line passing from this all right now i will explain what all these things so here it's c here again it's c here f here again it's f now i will name it as c1 c2 f1 f2 now c1 can also be named as 2 f1 as it is uh, same distance from 0 to f1 and f1 to c1 so both the distance are same so we can call it 2 f1 we can call it 2 f2 sorry 2 f2 so c2 is also known as 2 f2 and c1 is also known as 2 f1 i think now you understood now we will learn main three rays main three rays for this so first ray is which one first ray is when i pass the ray when i pass the ray which is parallel to the principal axis this is the ray which one is parallel to the principal axis then it will reflect and it will pass from f2 right it will pass from f2 so this is ray number one you need to remember in convex lens ray parallel to the principal axis will pass through the f2 after reflection right so this is ray number one so you can draw it if you are making notes from my video ray number one so parallel to the uh, ray parallel to the principal axis will pass through the f2 in convex lens now uh, what mistake students make here that there are certain students who draw the uh, ray like this and they bend it from here they reflect it from here so that's wrong you need to reflect from here this line that's why i have kept line over here once you complete everything you need to remove this line right so no one will come to know that you drew it big with this line so you need to remove that line once you complete so this is ray number one now let's go for ray number two 
This is ray number two. Now you know how to draw the convex lens. So uh, I have not. Uh, I am not drawing over here, it is ready for you. So in this uh, very very easy ray that is the favorite in lens for the students that is a ray passing from O will go straight right. Ray will go from O will not deviate and it will travel straight. So incident ray, reflected ray, this is same as C. In C we used to draw line like this and it never, it, it comes back in same direction, Refraction is, reflection is very easy. So you just need to draw this kind of two arrows and now this is ray number two, now ray number three, ray number three. In ray number three, a ray that passes from F1, a ray, sorry, a ray that passes from F1 will become parallel after reflection it will be parallel so these are three main rules for these are three main rays for convex lens ray number one that is parallel to the principal axis it will pass from f2 after reflection ray number two that will pass from o and will go without deviation ahead and ray number three that passes from f1 and will go parallel to the principal axis after reflection right so now you understood these three main rays so uh, with the help of these three rays you can draw the any ray diagram uh, asked in the question uh, asked in the examination now uh, this is the ray diagram we will draw position of an object is given and this object is in front of convex lens right it will be asked in the examination position of an object is beyond 2f so what is beyond 2f i already explained right this is 2f 2f1, 2f2. Now object is always left side, so I cannot consider 2f this. 2f is this one only, right? Now uh, beyond 2f, so that I can put object anywhere. So here I am putting the object without measurement. You can put, you can keep the height 1 on 1, 1 or 1.5 to do to draw the better diagram. Now I will pass. I can pass any two rays. I explained earlier to form an image, you need to pass any two rays. So uh, I am passing first ray that is parallel to the principal axis. Now it is an incident ray. Now it will reflect and it will pass from F2. So it will pass from F2. Now another ray, what will happen to the another ray? It will pass from O. That is very easy. So I am using this ray. It will pass from O. Now you can use any two, any two rays which you like you can even draw the ray which passes from f right you can draw like this also and you can draw then it will become parallel after reflection but all the all the rays will meet at same point but you need to show you you don't need to show the third ray you need to use any two rays but i just drew it to show you that it will give you a same diagram whether you <coughs> whether you use any two rays so this is my again i need to draw arrow like this now this is my image right this is my image right so if my object is named as ab and i will write over here object object and i will write a dash b dash and i will write over here image right now I need to remove this line. Remember to remove this center line. I am not removing right now, but this is uh, compulsory to remove this center line once you draw everything, right? Now you can write all the answer. You have been asked the nature of an image. Nature. Now I told you when when uh, image is at another side of mirror, it is virtual. But in case of lens, you need to write. In case of lens you need to write virtual only if it is dot 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 line you need to draw the dot 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 line and when you will draw the dot dot line when uh, when your diagram is something like this i am showing over here right that this is your principal axis right and if you try to draw suppose this is f this is o this is c this is f2 this is C2, let's say C1, F1. So this is just for you to understand, right? If I put object over here, I pass one ray, right? That will pass from F2, right? And then I will pass another ray. 
that will pass from O and if these lines are going far from each other and there are no chances that it, it will meet anywhere so you need to go reverse as I told you earlier and when you need to go in reverse you need to draw the dotted line so when you will draw the line with gaps only then and then you need to write that image is virtual otherwise you don't need to write the image is virtual so in this case your image will be real so i try to explain why it is real remember there are different rules for mirror and for lens in in case of lens whenever you need to draw the dotted line or line with gaps only then and then you need to write the image is virtual otherwise it is real right so it is real and and inverted right real and inverted now what is the size what is the size so it's smaller than the object smaller than the smaller than the object and what is the position of an image position of an image of an image so position of an image between between f2 and 2f2 right 2f2 is nothing but c2 right so i think you understood this ray diagram and you understood how to draw the convex lens and main three rays i tried to explain as good as possible i hope you find my video useful thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video